hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel travel free in today's video i am going to explain you about mcb miniature circuit breaker in the subject of basic electrical engineering so basically this uh, is from fifth chapter that is electrical installations we've already learned about what is lt switch gear and what are the components of lt switch gear we have already learned about the switch fuse unit so in this video let's learn about mcb what MCB is actually and the working of MCB and in the next video we will learn about ELCB and then about MCCB and wires and cables and so on will continue ok uh, so let's get started without any further delay first what is MCB it is a device which will automatically switch off the electrical circuit and makes the circuit open during an abnormal condition simple it will automatically switch off that is we need not go and turn it off it will automatically switch off when it will switch off during abnormal condition what do you mean by abnormal condition it can be an overload condition or it can be a short circuit condition in any of the condition this will act ok and it will make the circuit open why what happens if you make the circuit open in open circuit there will be no current right so there will be no current flowing as a result our devices will be protected if not if short circuit has happened or overload has happened that is high amount of current has passed into the circuit ok then in that case if this MCB is not there then what will happen the current the high amperes of current will directly come into our load that is our devices load is nothing but our devices it could be bulb it could be a fan uh, refrigerator ac whatever it is so it will directly come into our devices and our devices will get damaged so in order to do in order to protect that we are using mcb which will automatically turn off by itself okay so it is efficient than fuse why because once fuse is damaged that is the fuel wire has to be replaced so when there is overload current what happens the fuse wire will heat and the wire will melt ok so next time if you want to use that fuse again you need to replace the wire with a new wire but MCB is not like that the switch will automatically off right the switch will automatically come down once it comes down you can turn it on back again ok because you need not change the wire it's just turning on the switch ok next it has electromechanical mechanism and it is of less cost so let us now understand the working of MCB so in working we actually have two conditions so in case of overload it will react in one way in case of short circuit it will react in one way in case of overload how MCB will provide protection and in case of short circuit how MCB will provide protection that we will see in the now ok first is overload condition so uh, before that P means phase N means neutral and this is a bimetallic strip so this is one metal and this is the other metal this is as a bimetallic strip and it is a closed contact which is nothing but this contact will in you know it will say as that it will indicate that this is a closed circuit ok and this is the load load is nothing but our devices and this is a trip bar so in case of a normal condition what will happen is the flow will be in this way see I have written here the current will pass from phase so it will pass from phase to the bimetallic strip through the closed contact it will go to the lo load ok from phase it will come to bimetallic strip and from bimetallic strip to closed contact and from there to load and from load it will come back to the neutral ok this will happen in case of a normal situation that is normal current is flowing then in that situation this will happen suppose if overload condition has occurred then what will happen is simple overload also same from phase the current will go right so here what will happen is when excess current flows into the bimetallic strip ok suppose uh, it the if, if the bimetallic strip is capable of handling 10 amperes of current so bimetallic strip is nothing but two different metals are welded together ok uh, it you can take any two metals 
so you have to weld those two metals together you need to combine them together welding we have to do the welding and a bimetallic strip will be formed now the excess current suppose the bimetallic strip is capable of handling only 10 amperes of current but due to some abnormal conditions 20 amperes of current is coming so when 20 amperes of current is coming what will happen because of excess current this bimetallic strip will get heat up heated okay it will get heated up okay so when the bimetallic strip is heated it expands expands in the sense see metals have a property of expansion on heating and contraction on cooling right so when you heat it it expands when you cool it it contracts okay contraction in the sense it will come closer it will become more tighter okay so when you are heating it obviously this metal will expand and because of that expansion the metal will deflect deflection in the sense see it is like this right instead of this it will become like this okay the metal will deflect so when it is deflecting when it is bending because of heating here the contact will be lost right you, so it will become like this so it will bend like this in this way so now there is no contact between the metal and the closed contact right so since there is no contact it will become an open circuit because the current is flowing here only it is not coming into this closed contact right so that is why it will become an open circuit and no current will flow and our load will be safe got it so i hope you guys are clear simple phase phase to bimetallic strip so when bimetallic strip will heat it will expand and it will bend so when it bends it will bend in this way so that here the connection between the bimetallic strip and the closed contact is lost and because of that it becomes an open circuit open circuit and therefore no current will flow and our load is safe got it i hope you guys are clear now what is the mechanism of mcb it will automatically switch off now where how it is switching off how uh, where it is switching off means i'll tell you see when this bimetallic strip is bending it will bend and it is touching the trip bar right initially it is not touching the trip bar see this is this is the initial position initially it was not touching the trip bar but now since it has bent it is going and touching this trip bar got it so when it touches the trip bar this trip bar like it will it will you know it will this will go up and this direction will come down okay so as a result it will come down and it will turn on the switch it will turn on the switch of the mcb so as a result i mean it will touch not turn on it will touch the mcb switch this will come down and touch the switch of the mcb so that the switch becomes off and the circuit will be completely off it will be in this position only until we go and manually turn it on when we manually turn it on again the mechanism will continue got it i hope you guys are clear in overload condition simple phase to bimetallic strip then bimetallic strip will bend because of heating it will become open circuit and no current will flow so load will be safe and bimetallic strip will go and hit the trip bar as a result the trip bar will come and turn off the switch of the mcb got it so this is all about the overload protection next the condition we have is the short circuit protection in case of short circuit what will happen i'll tell you same things this is a phase neutral this is solenoid and solenoid has a wiring like copper wire is uh, wounded around the solenoid okay next we have the contact which is nothing but the closed contact this is the plunger this is the trip bar and the load so here what will happen i'll tell you very simple again so normal condition is like phase to contact from contact to plunger and from plunger to load see as simple as that phase to contact contact to plunger and from and from plunger it is going to the load very simple next in case of short circuit what is happening for example 10 amperes of current is flowing okay 10 amperes of current is flowing so 8 amperes of current came here and 2 amperes of current is taken by the solenoid now solenoid see usually in metals whenever uh, 
you know what do we say current is there heat will be produced okay so when there is excess current obviously heat will be produced and we have the metal here as i said we have the copper windings here right so we have the metal because of that property because of the current flowing in the solenoid a magnetic field will be generated okay a magnetic field will be generated and this magnetic field what it will do is see this plunger is also a metal actually okay this is not a plastic substance or anything it is also a metallic substance only this magnetic field which is generated around this solenoid will attract the plunger towards itself okay so the plunger will move towards the solenoid because magnetic field is generated around the solenoid and because of that magnetic field this plunger is being attracted towards itself so when the plunger is attracted it will move this way right so when it is moving obviously a gap will be created between the contact and the plunger so the plunger will be like this it will move like this it will move and the contact will be here itself the contact will not move right so what is happening here the circuit is becoming open circuit here because the current will come and stop here because there is no further point for the current to flow in normal condition what is happening contact is there plunger is there so through contact through plunger it is going through this wire but here we don't have any wire associated with this contact right so as a result it will become the open circuit and no current will flow got it i hope you guys are clear right next so this is what happens this is how the circuit will become open circuit now the second thing is how the mcb switch will turn off see in each and everything first is how to make it open circuit and second thing is how to turn off the switch so it has to become open circuit and also the switch has to turn off both has to happen simultaneously right so now let us see how the switch of the mcb will be turned off simple so when this plunger is coming backward that is because of this attraction it is moving in this direction right so when it is coming backward this plunger will come and touch this strip bar okay it will come and touch this strip bar so when it touches this strip bar it is moved from its place so it will displaced the strip bar is displaced and when it is displaced it will hit the mcb switch again it will go touch the mcb switch and the mcb switch will be turned off okay and then again when the situation is okay you need to go and manually turn it on so that the mechanism will be back to normal okay i hope you guys are clear in normal situation phase to contact to plunger to load that's all in case of short circuit excess current will be coming to this solenoid because of the current uh, since a metal is wounded around the solenoid a magnetic field will be generated and because of the magnetic field the plunger is attracted towards the magnetic field and the here it becomes a open circuit okay so when the circuit is becoming open no current will flow so when in the process of moving backward the plunger will definitely hit the strip bar so when it is hitting the strip bar the strip bar will displace from its position and it will go touch the switch of the mcb so that the switch becomes off okay so this is about the working of short circuit protection if you want to take this sc uh, screenshot you can take this is the diagram and this is the flow so this thing only you just explain in form of sentences point by point you have to explain not like this so in case of short circuit excess current phase is solenoid current because of that current the magnetic field will be generated and this magnetic field will attract the plunger and it will become the open circuit next the plunger when it is moving backward in that uh, time it is hitting the trip bar and this, this trip bar will displace and it will strike the mcb switch and the switch will become off simple okay uh, i hope you guys are clear in the next video i'll explain about elcb which is also simple again mccb also simple if you understand this all the others will become simple our main concept is we need to make the circuit open point number 2 is we need to turn off the switch so these two things how to do you have to understand that's all okay so thanks for watching the video till the end guys let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic bye bye